good day people I'm back and as promised I have got a update on the model only command now this should be a really short video because hopefully you have it but if not I'm going to show you how to get it and anyway so if you haven't got it I would go recommend you check out my other video of the how to use it sort of thing because I'm not going to go through any of that I'm literally just going to go through how to update it and kind of install it So, um, if you've never installed this before, then uh, okay, I would recommend watching the first video at least briefly, just to give you an idea of how it's installed and the commands you need to do. But I'm going to try to sum it up in, in a couple of sentences for you. So, what you're going to do initially is going to import the code. So, you get the import, copy, import. Boom. Now, this is where it will it will vary between two people one person will have, will, have, will have any of these and some people will have all of these so if you're just updating then you can untick all these and all you need to import is common name 3 that's all you need to import if you've never installed it you need to import them all so let's just press close on that because I've already cut them so to get these working, you need to add system.core to them all. I know I said system.link in the original video, but a few changes are made and now system, just system.core will work on them all. Because, what well, it does. But if you've, you don't need to change them, if they're working, they're working, don't touch them. But if you, you're new to install them, add system.core to them all. Now, all these are called what they need to be as a channel com command. So you need to create a channel command called add com and type to this one same with com first, com list, del com and edit com you need to do the same thing just create the command and call it that and then to get initially set up you should do com first do com first and that's the first thing you need to do obviously this one is going to be slightly different so this one is going to be like this and I'll show you this, pause this at this point if you want so you just do a, a rejects and an upward exclamation point and you do com, com name 3 and who you want to use them obviously these are normal commands so I've left this blank and that's how that's set up really quickly um, if you've already got a com name here you can just delete it and then retype it to this one and that is how it's updated so I just want to show you a few of the features that are new into it so as you can see there's a few more sub actions here because this can get more information. So if you've ever seen this done by Silverlink, which is, and let me just type in a name. Yeah, and again, it will it should actually pull up Mr. Gallon's information, and you can see it pulled out all the information he needs. And look, it's pulling my current scene as well, and it's followed. So anything that's on here now can be used within the, the add comms list then let's do add com disk we'll do d de i'm just put test anyone who knows me knows my spelling is horrendous so and then what we'll do is do this Add contest description. Boom. And now it should say test is added. Now again, things like com list will work. And it'll list two two things. I know you can't really see, I'm gonna remove it now because my camera. But so if I do test now and then we're gonna do a name. So again, let's do zooming and it should load it and it pulls in their description so again if I do test and I could do anyone else so let's do let's go back to the person I think I really use and it's going to pull in their description so that is what it does so it uses any of the information that is on that so it gives it more degree again you still have to type them correctly if you type them wrong it will still break but again things also like scene work 
I can tell you what current scene I'm on, which my current scene is called Display. Believe it or not. Um, and that is how it works, so it's really good, really handy. And this is the update. So there you have it. Um, that is how it works. Again, it's not overly complicated. Um, just updating code. Just make sure everything compiles. And make sure make sure everything compiles and then make sure you're doing everything as set there's, I mean, there's two videos of this so again the installing version of it, of this one I've kind of brushed over if you've never used it before but if you use the other video it should give you a good idea of install it but it's pretty much simple you know install it add system to car and then make sure it compiles if you don't compile it's not working um, but again I'm reachable Discord's below Twitter below, Twitch below, reach out. So, until next time, I'll see you later.